Animal Empire, Mary and Sarah. We recently got two new hermit crabs. So today we're gonna do a little tank setup for our hermit crabs. We've got all the things we need. We've got this tank. We've got it already filled up with some eco earth in the bottom. We also have the lid, but we will wait and put that on at the end. So stay tuned till the end of the video to see our new hermit crabs. So hermit crabs need two types of water, fresh water and salt water. For your salt water, you can order a hermit crab salt water solution. You usually mix these with water, but sometimes they come pre-made. Okay, so for your fresh water, there's a few options. The first option is to use some um, spring water. We use Ozarka, but there's a lot of options out there. Just as long as it has no chlorine, this will be fine for your fresh water. Another option would be to stable to put some prime in just some tap water. Um, if you want to use tap water, another thing you could do if you don't want to use prime, you could use hermit crab drinking water conditioner. As your hermit crabs molt and grow, they're going to move shells. So you're going to need bigger shells than your crabs in the tank. Our crabs are pretty big, and we didn't have bigger shells than them, so we're going to order some more soon. The more variety of shells, the better. So hermit crabs are going to need some decoration and some stuff to explore. One thing you can use is just like normal shells that you find for the beach. They like to turn these over and play with them. Um, one thing I like to do is put a hide inside so that the hermit crabs can hide. Obviously, they hide inside of their shells, but sometimes they like to have something else hiding. So we've got a large hermit crab fake chill basically for them to hide in and then we have some little plants and then we've got we've got some more of those and then we've got some you know medium sized plants to put in the tank So this is our first little crab. She's a female, her name is Pearl. There's her little pincher right there. But this is her shell, it's extremely pretty. I love her shell. So we're gonna go ahead and put her in. Where should we put her? Usually if you put them by the water, they come out. Hermit crabs can swim actually, so that's why this water is kind of deep. So maybe, hmm, let's put her right here. What do you think, Sarah? Yeah, that's Okay, we're gonna set her right there. Hopefully she'll come out in a minute. And then I'm gonna show you guys our other hermit crab. This guy right here is, um, we think he's a male, but we don't know for sure yet. So we haven't picked a name for him yet because we don't really know if he's a boy or a girl. He loves water actually. So um, where we got him from, he was literally swimming in the water when we, when we um, picked him out. So I'm gonna set him right here. And just kind of dip him into the salt water. This side is the salt water. Um, I'm just gonna do him like right. Hmm, how should I set him? <laughs> okay, hang on one second. I'm gonna position him right so that he doesn't drown, but he still feels that water, so maybe he'll want to come out. All right, we've got a position so that he's kind of touching the water, but he's not to where he would drown or anything. But, um,. So yeah, he's sitting there and she's sitting there, so hopefully they'll come out soon. And when they do, we'll show them to you guys. Okay, so it is now night. And our little girl crab is right there. The crab basically tried to bury himself back here, but that's okay. That's kind of what crabs do. So anyway, um, that brings us to an end of today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a new video. 
Thanks for watching. Peace.